Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Dead Secret. I'm your host, Sleepy Druid, and I'm stupid. Well, I'm not stupid, I just uh, did not saw the option. Well, I was right, I have to hide in the, in the dream apparatus, apparatus, in the tank. So, what, which I didn't see, yeah, shut up, shut up, shut up, I know you're coming, is I can turn this wheel. And hide in there. Well, oh, I bet it, he will look at me through that thing. It's a full moon. Let's go full out Naruto this thing. Like, what was it called? Whoa, creepy dude. Shoo, shoo. N he started it. Oh, man. Well, I already thought that would happen. Oh, god damn it, no. Why is my arm still broken? Can't I have, like, an axe, a weapon? Even a stick would be enough for me, to be honest. Jump scare incoming. Whoa, that's a dark hallway. And the house is moving. Oh, I do really not like that. Do I have six lives because there are six candles? Can I open the doors? No, I can't. Well, deeper into the mansion of death. Well, actually, I think death isn't the worst thing that could happen. Well, probably to your ears because, again, um, sadly, if I turn the volume even further down, we won't hear anything. And yeah. So, oh man, I hate the sections where when I when I when I have to escape the guy, because I'm not made for this. <laughs> no, actually, I love the game, but um, I'm just I hate them just because of my own stupidity, just because I have to go through every single iteration, through every single failure personally to actually. Man, that's freaking creepy. Shit, man. How long is this hallway? I shouldn't have said anything. Should I? Oh, man. Uh, so, just because of my own stupidity. Because, well, I have to go through every iteration. So, I have to die in, in every option. Uh, in every single universe, so to speak. Because, well, the game, usually, there are multiple universes in terms of multiple tries. Of course, the, like, real universe is the one where the protagonist survives. It's like a little bit with like with the Pokemon games, you know, where every single universe is, uh, every single game is a separate universe and stuff, separate dimension, um, but a rather dimension than uni dimension than universe. Yeah. How freaking oh, there is something. Okay, you know what? I go back. Wait. I go back. I do not fucking care. I heard that. Oh man. Man, this atmosphere is really great. Like this, oh crap. What? I am a genius. I'm probably a dead one after I walk through that door, but genius still. Don't do it. Oh, there is... Wait, why can I find the statue in my dreams? So first I pick this up. A weird looking clay statue. Yeah, I know, I know. No, I don't want to go back. Can I... Oh my god. <gasps> what the hell? I expected it and still got scared. Holy hell. My head. What the fuck? Stop that! Mm! Damn it! I know where to. Yeah, yeah, definitely going crazy, the girl. What the fuck? Well, from zero to a hundred. From zero to a hundred. Whoa! God damn it! Still getting goosebumps. Oh. Isn't made better by the fact that I actually have to. 
A crank. There's a crank. Large metal crank. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Large metal. Oh, I saw that mask. Or is it just in the options menu? Oh my god, that's like super creepy. I'm super uncomfortable right now. Harris died today. The whole squad gone. The thing is, it should have been me. I was supposed to be on that sub. I asked Harris to switch with me this morning, right at the crew, right as the crew was boarding. Told him I didn't feel well. I n have neither liked submarines. Oh, bullet isn't bullet. Man, that's a plot twist. Harris was the only person I've ever really thought of as a friend. My associates in Chicago would stick a knife in my back without blinking an, an eye if they thought it would get me some dough. Uh, them some dough. In fact, I'm sure that's what they intend to do the moment I step off this boat. Perhaps I should see Harris passing as an opportunity. All of his things are here. His papers, his extra dog tags. The physics book he owed, he showed me. His passport is here. Everyone who knew us personally is at the bottom of the ocean. Maybe my dear friend Harris has provided me with a way out. Man, so he literally, well, legitimately just swapped identities with, uh, well, Harris Bullard. James Lowry swapped it, so... That opens new possibilities, like the dude in the mask, that could be not just a figment of like imagination or something, that could be actually Harris Bullet who survived the submarine thing, man, I'm... Yeah, 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 I don't want to burn at a stake. Can I use the blank page? Okay, no, I can't use the blank page. Uh, alcohol, weird statue? Okay. Oh man. Well, this room is whiter than white. I see jack shit in here. Well, that's a bad transition. It was a bad idea to look through that mask. For me. Stop that. Nothing happened. Maybe there isn't any electricity down here. Let's find a way. Well. Why can I go over here? Well, what's that? Do you need a crank? Oh, yeah, you need a crank, actually. There is a page down here. It's again a blank page, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. Bill, I've made an incredibly fortunate discovery. About a month ago, a student came with an old newspaper clipping he had run across. It was dated 1932 and contained a, photo a photograph of four men arrested in a Chicago police bust. One of them is the fitting image of our dear bullet. The student thought the photo quite curious, particularly because the man in the picture is identified by the different name James Lowry. I knew it. Man, I laughed it off as a coincidence and sent the student on his way. That evening, however, I became consumed with the insane idea that perhaps this was not happenstance after all. Could it be that in 1932 our own Harris Bullet was arrested under a different name? Oh man, nearly yes, probably. With the right connections, confidential police files are as easy to access as public records. I received today a carbon of James Lowry's 30-year-old arrest report. He was suspected of laundering money for a criminal organization but was never formally charged. Sometime between his arrest and his release, his mugshot was taken. Thankfully, this photo was included in the documents I received. This is undeniably bullet. It seems that there is more to our mutual, mutual friend than meets the eye. Best regards, Graham Wellington. What's this? Bullet is not who he claims to be. I already figured it out before the other thing. Whoa, I still got the heebie-jeebies down here, man. Just like the tenth time that I... The tenth time. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, that I get got uh, like goosebumps all over my back. Just crank it, crank it, girl. Rats. There is no fuel. Do I have something? No, I have nothing to fuel. 
file to use as can I use the bucket? Can I can I use the bucket? Wait, can I actually go oh no, okay. I thought I could go uh in the in the Man That's a goddamn creepy basement right there. Stop that. But at least I found what I need because I need to go over there and grab this thing. No, 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 grab the bottle. Grab the That's good, an empty jug. Empty moonshine. Moonshine. That's a go to moonshine. Um Actually That looks kinda like a distillation thingy. Alcohol that burns in my eyes here. <laughs> oh, it actually is a moonshine. F well, distillery. <laughs> well, a moonshine jug. Well, it could be a moonshine distillery. Man, I have a bad day. Uh, where can I earn some fuel, bro? Where can I use my moonshine on? Oh, now I can crank the crank the Hank. Whoa! Oh, this is the gate. What the frick? I bet he's gone when I open the gate. Oh man, I really ah. Uh... It's a body and it's still warm. What? Let's let's just do it. Birthday party, please. Birthday party. Oh man, that's beautiful. Well, let's find a way. I found a way out. Yeah, I know that. Whoa, that's genius. I was like, yeah, probably not the best way to hide. Something. Oh, there's another house. The Crystal Cave. Wait, is Bobby Sawyer the the guy? Because I find I find his pages like everywhere. Like really everywhere. And why would he pry the door shut again? Nope. So the dead man in the underground room is Wellington. Yeah, it's actually Wellington, I thought about that. But Bobby Sawyer was, was black if I saw that right on, on the picture, so it couldn't be him. Um, Wellington is dead. That means the man in the raincoat was somebody else. The truth about Harry's bullet is... He is an imposter. Uh, it seems like Bullet's entire life is a forgery. Um, I feel we're close to the end. Well, actually, the episode is not even came to its half close, so maybe it will be a little bit shorter than I expected. If I look at the at the clock, the man we know as Harris Bullet is really James Lowry, but I'll, or Lowry, Lowry or Lowry. James Lowry stole Harris Bullet's identity, but then where is the real Bullet now? Well, I suppose that the real Bullet. Let me just turn on my light before I go on. Thanks, otherwise I'll crap my pants. No, it's just getting dark in my room, so... Well, you can imagine I filmed that while day while brought daylight, daylight uh, or more or less. I'm close now, just a few more thingies to solve. Oh, god damn it, you stupid... Oh. That was the only guy. Again. Oh. God damn it gave me nearly a heart attack. Man, my poor boy. Could you stop that? Oh, so you're the ghost of... Actually, police are trying to law, uh, draw, draw the line wrong. Um, so you are the 
ghost of um, Harris Bullet or well, J James Laurie for that for that matter. Okay, nothing in here. So let's oops, let's just step one step further and unlock the mysteries to the universe. A key. Small key, it looks like a kind used for a padlock. Oh yeah, actually the padlock in the creepy basement. April uh, April 7th, 1946. Dear Harris, I understand. I understand why you have not responded to my previous letters. Why you have made every effort to avoid me. Why you never wrote me during the war. I didn't want to admit it. But I'm tired of playing the fool. You found someone else. You don't love me anymore. I understand. Oh, man, that's convoluted. So, that's, that is the mother of his assistant. His assistant thought Harris Bullard was who he was, which he wasn't. Because Harris Bullard was actually James Lowry in this, well, who has stolen the identity of Bullard, who sank on the submarine. So, basically, Lowry is an imposter. Well, Bullet is an imposter named James Laurie. His assistant, who is the daughter, the legitimate daughter of Harris Bullet, um, is what was it called? Yeah, um, thinks that uh, the the Harris Bullet never wrote back because he died and because well, um, Laurie had no affiliation to well, sorry, need to adjust my headset to that woman, so. What figures is that because of spite, his assistant killed him. Because she would make probably she would probably make Lori pay for letting her father die. So I think I think it's actually the assistant. Yeah, I I wasn't that far away. I think in the second episode where I saw that uh, not saw that coming, said that that's probably um, his assistant maybe. But I will read it further. Um, you don't love me anymore, I understand. I'm not even angry with you about it. You are a vile man. You are a vile man! I thought you had died in war, and yet here you are, living without us in Chicago, pretending to be out when I knock on your door. I wanted to look into your eyes and ask you for the truth, but I don't need to any longer. You can rot in your little apartment of yours, for all I care. Well, because... Well, that was actually smart, smart from him, because she would have noticed that he is not Bullard. What I do not understand is how you could do this to, to, our, to your own child. Our child. The child you've never even met. The child I've raised for the last five years while you were doing God knows what in the Philippines. The child who has a father that came back from the war and won't even visit won't even call. That you no longer want me, I understand. But for what you have done to your own little one, you I will never forgive you. Rosanna Turner. The address is certainly like I did not even notice that. The address. And that's letters from Cynthia, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, this is probably in no, no, newspaper daily logs. Notes to Joe, Joe's diary, well, okay. So let us first go again. No, 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 I don't want to go there. I want to go into the basement, because in the basement is the refrigerator thingy, freezer. <coughs> into the basement! Which I will would never say. What was that? I just go in there. Stop that! God damn it! I know, James. Now I have a name for you. I should have named him Otto Dioni, probably. James. You're low. You're a very low man. There I thought. Okay, the lock is off. There is no turning back after this. Well, I guess 
I will do it through this entire episode. What? That's rather oh frick. It's rather anticlimactic. Graham Wellington wanted fame and glory. Josie Herrera wanted to find something precious. Cynthia Peckman wanted money. Bobby Sawyer wanted to be a writer. I wanted to get out of Kansas and start a real life. Mm. I just want to see my mother again. What the fuck? Oh my god, could you stop that, please? Holy fuck, I will die here. Man. Oh god damn it. I don't like the. I still don't like the music. He's following me, isn't he? Oh, for frick's sake, man. Oh god. Got another dark basement. Oh, f fuck's sake. Oh, God damn it. Just go further. Just go. Go. I don't want to get killed by that stupid ass. There will be something. I know it. I just know it. As soon as I... Like, Turn around or something, there will be some faces and w wait, what? Wait, what? Who killed Harris Bullet? So this guy is dead. So it I would say Josie Herrera. And now I just go over there? I would say Josie Herrera. Sorry, but that is what I'm voting for. Because he was an imposter. And she found out. Somehow. What the hell? Yeah, she found out! Sure, she was in the, in the uh, apparatus. 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 Stop that fucking... Joe! Uh, James! Stop that. Yeah, yeah, freaking monkey. She put the house on fo Yeah, I saw it. I will help you nonetheless. Ending S. And now? What does that mean? I won't turn around. I will look at you. Constantly. And now? Hey, okay, I will I will not stop looking at you because if I stop looking at her she will vanish. That's like horror movie 101. I barely managed to pull Josie from the house as it burned to the ground. All of Bullard's research, his equipment, and his secrets burned with it. Josie Herrera was arrested for the murders of Harris Bullard and Graham Wellington. My story of blackmail, murder, and my narrow escape from a deranged killer made headlines. That's good. In January, I start at the Chicago Tribune. Oh, nice. I never told them about James Lowry or that Josie's last name is really Turner. Those secrets are mine alone. Why? Dead Secret by Robot, Invad Robot Invader. Man, that game, like, got me really good. God damn it. It, it was fun, to be honest. I don't know... Um, because of the different endings, can I somehow, like, get a, what the, oh, I accidentally turned on, uh, the, the, uh, the menu. That was good, that was legitimately good, like, ending S is the best, so I get it, 100, well, this is 100% failure the first time from the first recording, and this was the other one, man, and this is, like, the other three, so, yeah, from, from bad to worse, like, if I pick probably... Wellington, it would be ending C, and whereas where I, when I picked the wife or the ex-wife or maybe Bobby, it would be ending A. Man, that game was great. I didn't even, um, 
what I wanted to say. I didn't even uh, thought I would finish it like that fast. I mean, the last episode isn't up yet. Not even close. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this little journey um, with that secret. That secret. No, that secret. And... Good night, folks. That's the only thing I can say. <laughs>